Fire One TV. Graced differently. Anointed differently. Open your Bibles. Let's go to the book of Matthew chapter 3. Today I'm teaching on the subject open heavens. Open heavens. Matthew chapter 3. Let's start from verse 13. Then Jesus came from Galilee to John at the Jordan to be baptized by him. Then Jesus came to who? To who? To who? Anyway, to who? To John. At the Jordan to be what? Baptized by him. The revelation here is that when you are truly called by God, it is not you to follow people to come and receive prayer. It is you to teach salvation when you get the opportunity. But when people have need of you, that is why I am the pastor that will not follow you to your house. Even Jesus followed John the Baptist. Even Jesus did what? Followed John the Baptist. At the Jordan River to be what? baptized by john and jesus was older by than john in age was more anointed in fact he is the uncreated creator he wasn't supposed to look for his creation but he said to john in order for all scripture to be fulfilled let me humble myself so you can baptize me many people have left church because pastor did not call them pastor did not do follow up pastor did not follow them to their homes many people have left church like that oh by the way the doctor that collects your money for medication when you are sick does he come to your house or is you that is carried to the hospital let's mature as christians hallelujah Amen. let's mature as christians so when we have need we can humble ourselves and seek for prayer and not allow to say i am the one who gives the biggest offering in church he must come and look for me for prayer verse 14 and john tried to prevent him saying i need to be baptized by you and are you coming to me verse 15 but jesus answered and said to him permit it to be so now for thus it is fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness then he allowed him when he had been baptized jesus came up immediately from the water and behold let's read it together the heavens hallelujah the last verse verse 17 and hallelujah family i say hallelujah Amen. when we talk about open heavens open heavens is having the backing of heaven hallelujah Amen. everything that is in the kingdom of god the devil has counterfeited in the kingdom of satan or satan or hell or the underworld in fact where the devil is now is called the underworld amen that is where they are operating from so in the kingdom of heaven when the heavens opens up to a man all the good things that are in heaven automatically comes into the life of that person and some of us the reason why things are the way they are is because the heavens are shut over our life nothing is going nothing is coming the only thing that is happening is that the gates of the underworld are open and when the gates of the underworld are open every button in hell comes to you hallelujah every button in hell comes to you one of your children get healed and in the process of getting healed another one is admitted at the hospital while this one it looks like it's getting better another one also start the symptoms of another sickness again it is a clear indication that the gates of hell are open in your life you get fired from work you get home your wife or your husband is threatening of leaving you divorcing you 
and you call your mom you have heard that your mom's bp has gone very high and she has been rushed to the hospital and you call your father and all of a sudden your father cannot work properly here you are you have just lost your job and mommy and daddy are calling you to come and pay their bills at the hospital children have been fired from school you look all around you every indication is pointing to one thing the gates of hell have opened into your life that is why in this life church it is good to be humble susan it is good to be what to be humble in this life because when the gates of hell are open and god is not found in the equation you become the most miserable person in this life you cannot walk as strong as you may be as a man you cannot walk they have to carry you into a car and bring you to church so the pastor can pray for you and sometimes even when they, they bring a sick person to church the sickness becomes so severe that the pastor even refuses for the person to be brought into church the pastor leaves the church and goes into the car to go and lay hands and pray for such people praise the name of the lord Amen. a young man that is full of life a young woman that is full of vigor and what Amen. vitality all of a sudden is diagnosed of cancer and the doctors are talking of cutting off the breast and she goes through chemotherapy even after the therapy the sickness refuses to go the pain refuses to go and all of a sudden this woman that has big boobs all of a sudden have flat chest the indication is only one the gates of hell have opened and when i was growing up as a teenager in a primary school the most beautiful woman in the barrack that we all know her name was vic when she puts on her uniform especially whether it is a skirt or it's a trouser you know that this one is a woman look at shape look at body and then she put on this military boot oh my goodness you will say wow somebody will say man of god when you are preaching like this about women how does your wife feel my wife knows that i'm a servant of god that loves her and her only so me preaching about this and that is to just give you details of what i am trying to say it doesn't mean i'm the kind of man of god that looks down on her disrespect her and run after other women true or false good so that one has been cleared that is just me preaching the word of god and then this woman was diagnosed of breast cancer and we heard it in the barrack that sister vic is sick has been diagnosed and they will cut her breast like joke like joke they cut her breast like joke like joke the most prettiest officer in the barracks at that time went to hospital didn't come back again died the gate of hell were open in her life when the gate of hell open or the gate of the underworld opens in a man's life there are demonic spirits in the underworld they don't come out they do not come out there are certain demons that have been chained on this earth not even in the underworld they came here and god has chained them and they are there in the underworld they are in chains when their season and their time comes and god releases them and they come on earth ha, you will see death like anything you have never seen before hallelujah they are demon spirits that when one entity enters into this church and god is no more with us starting from the senior pastor to his family to the congregation everybody will start experiencing calamity after calamity are you understanding me there is nothing good in the devil everything in the devil is bad the devil can never give you a gift that will make you happy forever when he gives you a gift it comes with a lot of payment which is not even worth the gift he has given you praise the name of the lord so if we believe that there is a curse then we must also believe there is a blessing if we believe there is evil we must also believe there is good if we believe the devil exists we must also believe that god exists that in god we can find what we call blessings the bible said the blessings of the lord of the lord makes one rich and comes without sorrow comes without sorrow but the blessing of satan makes one rich and also comes with what sorrow. sorrow a lot of sorrow it's like a woman or a man who is cheating 
enjoys cheating every day, every day, every day. One day, one day, psh, problem. You are caught. And anyone who cheats, the day they are caught, I tell you, even if they are Satan, they will say they are sorry. Every cheater is sorry when they are caught. Hallelujah. The same way when the devil gives you a gift, there will come a day the devil will come back. Not to take the gift, though, but to take what you love the most. What you love the most. Hallelujah. Family, I say hallelujah. Amen. Let me not go there. Let me not go there. But most people who are very famous that die in their prime, most people who are very prosperous that die in their prime, most people who are very powerful and influential, they die in their office, they die in their prime. The question is, what took them to the office in the first place? Because if it is of God, it comes without sorrow. Praise the Lord. If it is of God, it comes without what? It comes without sorrow. But if it is of the devil, there will be a repercussion. He will come after you. Are you following me? And church, sometimes it is better not to have it than to have it without peace. It's a good place to say amen. amen. Sometimes it is better not to be a prophet than to be a prophet that will rise and come down again. One of the most difficult things to deal with in this life is when you are up there and you fall from grace to grass. It is better not to be rich than to be rich and to become poor because your status changes and many are not able to deal with it so they enter into what we call depression they enter into what we call depression don't get yourself hooked up and attached to anything you know the source is not from god because one day it will go and when you get hooked up and you get so attached to it and it goes you enter into depression your heart will be broken the man you are with, you know very well that you got the man through charm. The genesis of that marriage is because you cooked charm for him. So, stop gallivanting and boasting about as though you are the most happiest wife. Sooner or later, the curse will be lifted. The eyes of the man will open and your heart will be broken. Praise the name of the Lord. They are market women who sell and what they are selling on that particular road there are so many other people that are selling the same thing they are selling and you see the whole crowd gathered in front of one shop if it is food that is the only food people want to eat if it is bags that is the only bag people want to buy and you wonder to say what is wrong with these other ones the other day i went with my wife to go and buy something in town what is the name of that place and then when we got there the woman we usually buy from when we got there the woman was surrounded with a lot of customers and i came out of my car with my wife and we stood next to her and as she was selling there were other people who were selling the same thing she was selling and i told my wife this food we are buying the owner has done something but we shall pray and eat it because we are already here we are already here we shall pray and we shall eat it but she has done something to this business because from the beginning of the junction what she's selling people about four or six people are selling the same thing in fact four or six is even understatement more 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 than ten they will bypass everybody and come to her alone to buy and where i'm coming from there's a lot of witchcraft so i know how people operate like this some of them they even use their part their menstrual part according to the direction the witch doctor will give them some some wives even do it for their husbands oh yes and the husband will become mumu if your wife says go to the kitchen and cook you go and cook if your wife says stand by the dining side till i finish eating you'll be standing there your wife will give you money go to uh, Kaunda Square Market, go and do grocery, go and buy vegetables. You see the man in the market. Such men, when you see them, don't laugh. Pray for them. They are under bondage. They are under bondage. 
Some of my prophecy I gave for 2023 concerning certain presidents. I didn't know that presidents have bigger problems than even people in the church. I didn't know. I did not know. I did not know. Somebody asked a question in a comment section. He said, so does it mean that all the presidents, they all have heart problems? I said, you never know until you get there. Then you will understand. And one particular one, the message I got is that the wife has a hold on him through magical powers. So he is not himself. Hallelujah. She has to secure herself because that position is too big. My husband will go out there and with the influence and the money, he will be exposed to all women. But whether you fight it today or you fight it tomorrow, there will come a day the eyes of the man will be open. And these are the gates of hell we are talking about when it comes into your life. If you want to know what I'm talking about, tomorrow Monday, early in the morning, travel to UTH. Travel to this hospital across the street here. What is it called? Levy. Travel there and go and sit in the reception. And see the amount of people that will walk to the reception seeking for attention of doctors. And most of them, it is not because they are not eating well. It is not because they are not sleeping well. It is not because they are not doing exercise. It is not because they have not registered in the gym. Majority of them, the problem is because the gate of hell have opened in their life. Problem after problem. Surrounded with witchcraft. So if a man is surrounded with Satan and his presence and his life becomes so miserable, miserable, then how is it also when a man is surrounded with angels? When he has the backing of a heaven? Such a man must not rise and fall. Such a man must not go to bed fit and wake up sickly. Because if we believe in generational curse, we must also believe in generational blessing. Shout I hear you. open heavens from now to the 31st of december my prayer for you is that you will walk in open heavens Amen. you will walk under open heavens Amen. when god opens is the floodgates of heaven every blessing you see in heaven you can imagine you can think of heaven that blessing has to come into your life Amen. and the bible says in the book of genesis that god opened the heavens and he opens the fountains of the earth and brought down rain for 40 days and for 40 nights. And the whole earth was flooded with the rain of heaven and the fountain that God opened on the earth. And every human being on the surface of this earth died. Except Noah, his wife, and his two sons, Shem and Ham. Shall I hear you? You cannot walk under open heavens and experience dryness. When you walk under open heavens, you are always wet of the blessing of God. You walk under open heavens, you experience favor that men cannot explain. You walk under open heavens, you walk from January to December, and you never report to any doctor for medical attention. You walk under open heavens from January to December. No police officer will ever call you. No police officer will ever look for you. Because the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. He will not order your steps to the police station. Are you connecting to what I'm saying? Majority of us, what we need this year is open heavens. Say, Lord, help me and open the heavens above me when the he heavens are open above you church you receive the favor of God in Matthew chapter 3 the scripture we just read from the Bible said after they negotiated two cousins Jesus and John after they finished negotiating and chatting John said okay what you have said makes a lot of sense so he permitted it to be so and the Bible says he dipped him in the muddy rivers of Jordan. He dipped him where? In the muddy rivers of the Jordan. And he brought him up. And when he brought him out of the river, after baptizing him to the most high God, that was the beginning of the ministry of Jesus. Hallelujah. That was the conception of the ministry called Christianity christianity the new testament church 
That was when it began. And in the beginning of that particular ministry, God needed to confirm. Say confirmation. confirmation. Say loud that confirmation. confirmation. Some of you, you need serious confirmations. Why you are in this church? You need serious confirmation. Why you have to do this job? You need serious confirmation. Why you have to marry this guy? Why you have to marry this woman? You need serious confirmation. Why prophecy has come that you will become a widow. And if you don't agree on that widowhood, you have to change it on the altar of prayer. Say confirmation. confirmation. When a man is deluded of confirmation, he follows any direction. Oh, this must be probably the prophecy God told me about. This must be that revelation that I saw. Oh, this must be the gossip I heard about. Today, he has made a mistake and he has exposed himself. This must be, this must be, this must be. Because any direction you see in front of you, you follow. Because you have no confirmation. Hallelujah. You are called into the ministry of a prophet. But have you had an encounter? Has God confirmed it to you personally? Personally. This man seems very good. He has money. He is hard working. And anytime he sees you, you only see the good side. You never see the bad side. As a prophet of God, some of the conversations I have with my maker, hmm? some of the chats the Holy Spirit comes to have. When he leaves, I tell him that this one is this one dear. It is not God. Tasila, can you imagine? I said, ah, this one, I rebuke that voice. This one cannot be God. How can God come and tell me that this person that is always looking like an angel, humble, comport themselves. How can God say this one is an agent? How can God say this one is witchcraft? Be careful. No, 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 no. This one must be the voice of the devil. And then when you pray and pray and pray and pray, the word is always the same. Hallelujah. The word is always the same. They have called me so many times, different radio stations. As I sit here, the reason why I spent a lot of money personally to change how my office looks. <laughs> my God and my Father. Eh? The way I changed the way my office looked was because I wanted it to be what presentable according to the phone calls and emails I have received governmental leaders sitting presidents former presidents first ladies are calling to say we are coming to your church we want to come and see you and i look at my office i say if i don't do it nobody will do it so let me go the extra mile and do it myself and even that one when the american woman came and he saw the chair in front of my tables <laughs> my god and my father say praise the lord he said one day i'm keeping these pictures for the future one day i know what you carry god will lift you to the nations and i will remind you that when i entered your office <laughs> i said take more pictures in fact the fan has no regulator we switch it on like a light take a picture of that one too praise the name of the lord say confirmation say louder confirmation everybody that is seated here you have a specific assignment in life Amen. right Amen. i said what specific. specific specific assignment in life some of us our assignment is to just love her regardless of her weakness her mistakes that is how god has called you to comfort her because probably in her childhood she was abused she was raped she was beaten she never had a father figure so as god sent you into this life your assignment is just one 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 assignment only overlook her weakness just love her no you just love me the way i am hmm. some sermons if you don't use your brain just love me and accept me the way I am. That is how you have been called. Praise the Lord. But if you don't know that assignment, the day this guy loses his job, the day everybody walks away from the church, and there's no, no one is calling you mama, 
you look around no one is calling you mother you say ha, the glory has departed let me also you don't know your assignment they don't know your assignment there are so many people in this life the reason why they are still in their wilderness is because they are doing the wrong things in life they are with the wrong man they are with the wrong woman they are studying the wrong course at the university so even after 10 years after graduation they are still jobless they are still jobless you don't know your assignment and until you come to that place where you have peace with yourself you say this is what god wants me to do you will struggle in life you will struggle in life the devil hates you sometimes even your own biological parents that gave birth to you they hate who you are becoming and they they don't want it because you are not their favorite child they never expected that it is you who will carry the family on the on its shoulders so even your own biological parents are not wishing you well and life is too expensive for you to also have doubts about yourself you must have confidence in who god has called you to be how do you come to that point of confidence when you don't know your assignment when you don't know your assignment if you bring airtel or mtn kiosk by the tree here to say you are doing business guess what everybody will rise against you the taxi drivers will fight you the business people around here will fight you every single thing you want to do in this life you will have opposition and this is where the problem is when opposition rises it is because you are doing the right thing and the devil is not happy as simple as that when opposition rises it is because you are doing the right thing and the devil is not happy how do you come to that place to fight the opposition to resist the opposition the bible said resist the devil in fact he said the devil goes about rowing like a lion seeking whom he may devour devour but resist the devil and he will what flee from you flee from you flee from you how do you resist the devil to the point of him running away from you when you don't know who you are and some people will say this guy has too much ego ego this guy is too arrogant usually people who know what they carry they will never compromise to something that is against their principle and i had an argument recently with a family member and the family member said a b c d why didn't you call me if you had if you had the need when i had the need i called you and you did a b c for me and so when you also had the need you should have called me and i said how old are you are you no older than me at your age here i should call you and beg you and tell you to say i have a need a b c before you do the needful i serve the god and the streets of heaven are paved with gold and diamond he says silver and gold belongs to me. my ego is very big without apology because i know who i am and i took my time to explain to him i know what i carry i know the god that has called me i know my purpose in this earth when you don't know who you are you will make mistakes and sell your glory without knowing that you are selling your destiny you will end up marrying a man that is below your destiny your purpose your assignment in life you will end up marrying a woman because of pity because of shape because of beauty and misplace your priority in life hallelujah they said to me <laughs> in my youthful days when i got my calling they said to me the only way we can help you to come to uk is to marry your elder sister's daughter when you marry her by document then you can come to uk and i know the family i come from and i was the first born again in the family and i was the first pastor in the family and i delivered all of them they all manifested in my presence as i laid my hands on them and god placed all of their destinies before me and I prayed all of them one after the other into where they need to go and what they need to do. The relationship they had which were not of God. Sometimes I literally had to approach the women and tell them from today, I break this relationship, you are evil. 
and make enemies unnecessarily just so the family can stand on its feet and fought battles now when they all lifted when they all lifted they came together and had a meeting to say if we are to help the pastor in the family he has to marry his sister's daughter and i knew there was a problem so when daddy and mommy came together my brother my sister we all came together and we had a family meeting i stood up in the meeting and respectfully i told them no it can never be and it will never be the bible said and esau was hungry and when he looked at the pots and the red stew jacob had prepared he told him give me the stew and jacob said i will give you at the expense of your destiny give me your elderhood and the guy did not know what he was giving into because why he did not understand what he carried there was no confirmation jacob had the confirmation because it was the mother that received the prophecy that the reason why in your womb there is contention and they are fighting is because they are two nations and the younger one will be greater than the elder and with that understanding the mother brought the younger one closer to herself and started ordering her steps do this don't do this go here don't go here connect to this one don't connect to this one there was a confirmation he had understanding the elder brother had no confirmation had no understanding i said i brought light into this family you were all into idol worship and me who has brought light into this family i should be the one to break my own protocol and legally marry my sister's daughter just because i want to go where to hell because uk is hell america is hell america is the sodom and gomorrah of our generation today because i want to go there god forbid god forbid and i told them just watch me hallelujah just what just watch me i will rise and i will rise above all of you and i told my father and my mother if your children will not do the needful god will do the needful and even if you are dead and gone in the grave you will look back into life and you will say of a truth this one carried god and that was the most important thing because i'll be greater than all your children i told them i said i'll be greater than all of your children it is not by might not by power i know my purpose I know my purpose i'm not bragging no but by the grace of god my name is all over the world today i'm not even talking of the material blessings god has blessed me with i'm talking of name i carry the legacy of the king's family when you mention you go to google and mention elijah king i'm the first one that will appear the whole world google oh, google there are so many elijah king there is even a wrestler called uh, kofi kingston or whatever when you mention my name the whole world i am the first one that will appear i am a, an icon from the village to the city hallelujah right from my childhood tasila right from my childhood i kept i kept telling my brother the kind of woman i will marry how she has to be amen and the same way i'm telling you people in this house that you will not realize what you carry what God has favored, not only you, the whole nation. Until I am gone out of Zambia, it might be too late. You will not know it until it is what? Late. What God has given to the nation of Zambia. Amen. Have a confirmation. Why are you suffering? Why are things tough for you? Have you taken your time to seek God to understand why things are the way they are? When you look in the mirror, there is nothing wrong with you. You are beautiful. There are people who are more ugly than you. Even them, they are settled. So if marriage is about beauty, you should be married by now. They are disabled that are married. There is a disabled man. That is, the height is up from my feet to my knee. Dwarfism, spirit. It's on him. He is married to a woman. They have given birth to three children. And I ask myself, how did you make love to this woman? Because the woman is tall. But all things are possible with God. Hallelujah. 
know your purpose don't just fall for anything in this life if you know your purpose you will not fall for just anything in this life jesus right from the beginning of his ministry there was a confirmation what was the confirmation matthew chapter 3 verse 16 and the heavens were open and a voice spoke and said this is my beloved son hear him hear him that doctor's report you have received that come for an operation have you sought the face of god have you taken your time to seek god that will it be well with you or it will not be well with you you must have a confirmation even if you decide to leave fire nation that is where the problem is we allow the flesh to take over eh? if it is my flesh alone church i will not be standing here this morning preaching to you why am i saying today i will not prophesy i will prophesy next week sunday because i am not right i'm not okay if it is left with me alone i should not be here but i have to kill the flesh and make sure i please the one who has called me and i even forgot the day i say i won't prophesy that is the day i will even prophesy the most that is how you should be killed the flesh the bible said the spirit is at war with what the flesh do you know the spirit is talking about your assignment the flesh doesn't want you to fulfill your purpose your assignment so what the flesh now fights the carnal mind the demonic mind it now starts to fight what god they are major men of god when they stand on the altar you feel the presence of god but guess what their greatest weakness is last unless they don't see a light-skinned woman in the church unless they don't see a slim girl in the church they will find a way one way or the other one way or the other they are major 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 prophets of god before they come into the altar they have to have sex not with their wife oh. not with their wife they have to have sex with multiple girls in a week before they can flow in the altar they don't want it but it is their weakness take your time pray about it let God minister to you some of us will say in our family this is how we are in our family this is who we are this is who I am woman you can't change me do you know who I am do you know whose son I am do you know whose daughter I am so what they are, they are trying to say is that I am the flesh and I cannot allow the spirit to take over Paul said on three different occasions say three times he said three times i went to god in prayer because there was a tongue in my way what he's saying is that there was a weakness that was fighting my purpose and i went to god and asked god to say take it out remove it i don't want this flesh i don't want this manifestation it is disturbing my ministry paul said it is okay because of stomach ache sometimes to drink alcohol it wasn't god speaking oh it was paul speaking Paul hated women and hated marriage to the point that he said in the church no woman should stand in the altar and preach because women are under men and he himself never got married in the Bible never got married he said even if a woman should come to the altar to the church the woman must tie rapper on him. don't look beautiful the guy had the personal vendetta against women and I wonder if his problem was women because he said he had a weakness a tongue in the flesh me i want my wife to look beautiful do makeup in fact i'm begging her every day to put eyelashes i love that one but she doesn't love that one because i am not paul i am not paul are you following me i don't have the weaknesses of paul I don't hate women in fact i am very comfortable when i'm introduced into the altar by my partner my soulmate my better half i flow them all i'm at peace i'm i'm so confident and i'm proud of myself that the woman i'm building an empire called life is the one who introduced me into the altar to do the work of the lord i am not poor said women should not wear earrings 
Women should not do their hair. If you do your hair and you come to church, put your rapper. How are Christians going to look like? Huh? We are all going to look like zombies coming to the, uh, the presence of God. And when you go to deeper life, you never see a beautiful woman. Because every beauty is covered. The only thing you see is that small face. Even the clothes they wear, they wear clothes like sackcloth. Everywhere is covered. Praise the Lord. Three times I went to God. Listen to me, church. Listen to me, church. Every man that is here, including the soldier Anthony, when you are paid this month, as soon as you remove your tithe, take your wife to Manda Hill. Go and buy special clothes that are meant for your eyes only. Amen. Oh. Don't bring the culture of Corinthians into the culture of Lusakans. Don't let your wife tie rapper in the name of Christianity. And you go out there and you meet another woman in your administration of your duties at work. And she's looking different from your wife who in the name of Christianity is looking like a zombie. And you end up cheating. Be flexible. Amen. Oh. Be flexible. Somebody say, why should a prophet wear chain? Because of the chain you are wearing. I now know that you are not called of God. I say, yo, should we look like mad people because we are believers? So today I cannot even wear a chain. I cannot wear a bracelet. Apart from my wedding ring, I am so scared what I must put on. But there are certain days I just want to be casual. I just want to be casual and feel myself. You get what I mean? I want to go to the gym sometimes and build my muscles because the bible says a little exercise profited much right so there are times i also want to wear shorts and walk in the mall with my family there are times i also want to express myself and put a line in my haircut and put a bracelet and put a chain like the way big john would do sometimes when i see him but all the body shirts I have, I cannot put them on. I have kept them inside because Christianity will tell you to say, the way you are looking, ah, it is not God who is using you. It is not God. Yesterday, I posted a picture on Facebook. I was wearing goggles. In my heart, I was praying. At this level, God has taken me now. I'm posting pictures like this. How will the people perceive me? That is Christianity now. But when it comes to marriage, don't let religion or directly Christianity stop you from looking your best to your partner. For those of us who are married, it is okay to buy lingerie. Did I mention it right? Luxury or whatever, whatever, whatever. You know what I mean already. And look good. Hallelujah. Look what? Good. Look good. I have come to notice that sometimes when your wife is taking a very careful look at you for a long time, don't be excited because women cannot be trusted. <laughs> don't be too excited. Don't be too excited. When they take a careful look, you are talking. And sometimes you finish talking, they are just staring at you. They are not saying anything. You don't know what is going on in their head. Sometimes they are saying, how did I end up with this muko? How did I end up with this one? Imagine. And in the name of Christianity, you'll be there. Another man will steal your wife right under your nose. Look good. Amen. Oh. Look what? Look good. The Bible says, And David returned from battle. And when he came back, from afar, he saw that the city was on fire. And he ran quickly and went there and realized that his wife, his children have been taken away as slaves. And all the armies of David, they all broke down and cried and they started crying and they kept crying, including if David was leading the crying service. And the Bible said they cried until they had no more strength to cry. And if you have been a stubborn and a naughty child like me, you will know how to cry and it gets to a point you have no more strength to cry when it gets to that point the crying becomes like this <laughs> because you become so exhausted of crying 
they were crying like that. And when they finished crying and there was no help, they gathered together and they decided to kill their leader, David. So what happened? When David realized that these people are going to kill me, he quickly left and went to the presence of God. He called the high priest and went into the church and consulted God through the prophetic unction. What must I do? And the prophecy that came was that, pursue, for you shall surely overtake and you shall surely recover all. Say confirmation. confirmation. You know, we have begun the year. Instead of going to God with your new year resolutions, right? Forget about the new year resolutions. It happens those days when there were no prophets in the land. Now that there are prophets in the land, take a prophetic seed. Take what? That is the kind of word that we don't like to hear. We like the part that says, go and see the prophet for prayer. But when you have to also give something to the prophet, that one is not of God. Take a prophetic seed, connect to the prophet. And say, man of God, I want to seek the mind of God for the new year. This medical doctor who connected to, with me for the one-on-one, -on -one, he said, we have started a new year. I want to know the mind of God. Does he not have a pastor? He has a pastor. But he recognizes grace. And I told him, because you are from my country, just give a small seed. He said, ah, Papa, that seed is too much. I cannot give. <laughs> He said, Papa, that seed is too much. I cannot give. I said, if you know what God is about to do for you, that seed is nothing. It is what? Nothing. And then when we sat down, the Lord said, three things are going to happen to you. The year 2023, which we must pray about. One of them was the loss of your baby. He said, the wife is five months pregnant. The second one, the Spirit of God showed me. And I saw a serpent beat him in front of his door. And he passed out. He sent me a WhatsApp message three days ago. He said, my wife had a dream. Whilst I was sleeping, she woke up and laid hands and started praying for me. And that was before I posted his prophecy. So the wife didn't even know. My wife had a dream. And in the dream, I had become sickly to the point of that I cannot walk. I was doing, I was messing myself. And my wife was the one taking care of me up and down. The moment she woke up, she laid hands and prayed for me. I woke up and I asked her, what's happening? And she said, this is the dream I had. Confirming the prophetic word I gave him. The prophetic word I gave him. And the third one was a work colleague. If you have not watched it yet, go and watch. You will see the details there. A work colleague who has mentioned his name before. A voodoo idol. For him to be attacked. Praise the name of the Lord. So imagine that small prophetic seed. You are to connect with the prophet. Is it important to connect with the prophet? Well, since you want everything to be based on the word of God. Samuel said, do not come to the prophet. The book of Samuel, First Samuel. He said, don't go to the prophet empty handed. He said, don't go to the presence of the prophet empty handed. And they asked, what do we have around us that we can offer the prophet? The Bible said, and the queen of Sheba went to Solomon as a man of God. And before Solomon could even sit with her, he, she had carried gold, precious stones, spices, in honor to honor the grace of Solomon. The Bible says the Shunammite woman perceived that Elisha is indeed a man of God and went and discussed with the husband, what can we do to honor him? And the Bible said they built a bedroom Place a bed, place a chair and a table. So when the man of God has finished ministering, he will come and rest. And in the process, the man of God prayed for a miracle. A miracle baby boy came into their lives. Hallelujah. Connect, connect, connect and seek the mind of God. Seek the mind of God. So I want to know the will of God for me in the year 2023. At your age, ask yourself, why are you not driving? That is the material aspect. Why are you not working? Why are things the way they are? Some of you, some of the things God reveals to me like Victoria like this. Since last year, since last year, some of the things God has revealed to me concerning you. If I tell you, you won't even believe it. 
Because it is way beyond human comprehension. If I tell you, even you who is in the church, you become shocked why things are not working for Victoria the way they are supposed to work for her. And I've taken my time to pray about her. There are certain people in the church, God has given me a picture of their future. And it is not pleasant. Oh yes, I have a responsibility to stand with them to ensure that that demonic future must not what? Come to pass. And that is what we call four sight for sight this woman like this i have received a word about you today if i am to prophesy i would have prophesied to you i have received a word about you and the word i have received about you it is so powerful that when you know this word you have a confirmation where to step your feet and where not to step your feet hallelujah you must, you must know. You must have a confirmation. And the voice spoke to confirm his ministry. He said, this is my beloved son. Everyone hear him. Ministry was confirmed. The woman you want to marry, have you sought the face of God? The man you want to marry, have you seen the face of God? Because some of you, you marry after one year, you become widows. You need to know the mind of God. The church you want to go to, have you sought the face of God if it is true, a true church, a divine church from the most high? Because some of the churches, they buried human organs on the altar. On the altar. <laughs> there is a church I visited with my son, Dexter. They said they were doing Bible school. As I sat on the chair, something happened. And the Holy Spirit said, get up and go. I said, the service is not over. He said, go. You don't know where you have come. Go. Go. He said, leave, 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 leave. And I left. And I told my son, Dexter, that the Spirit of God does not want me to be here. Because if I tell him, he might not even believe it. He might not even believe it. It is not, it is not even a charm we are talking about. You know, somebody has gone to collect a charm and he has placed it on the altar and is working for them. It is complete satanism. The, this man has literally sold his soul to lucifer and all his sons who called him spiritual father he has equally initiated them so this one word religion that is coming some of the churches that we know it will pass through there they will open branches in the name of one word religion where you see muslims attending their services not because they are born again they will come as muslims and they will have muslim islamic service islamic branch you don't know what i'm talking about you know the way we have Bemba service, right? We have English service. It is going to happen. Trust me. Some of these mega, 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 mega churches. God said, he has sold his soul. He does not belong to me. Never step your feet in this church again. And I said, I am sorry. I wanted the certificate to add to my Bible school certificate. He said, you don't need it. Say, amen. amen. Have a confirmation. You see somebody doing business. Do you know the source of their business? You want to become business partners? Have you sought the face of God? Why they are who they are? Why they have a Range Rover? Why they have a Jaguar? Why only them they are rising every day? If you are not careful, you'll be sacrificed. Seek the face of God. And David sought the face of God. And God said, pursue. You shall surely overtake and you shall recover all. So the man who had cried to the point that he has no more energy to cry because of the confirmation. Now come and see energy. That is it. When you have confirmation, you will say to that child who has just passed out, it is not your time. Come back to life. Because you know that God did not just give you a child like everybody else. Before the conception of this baby, an angel of the Lord visited you and the angel of the Lord presented the baby to you and the angel of the Lord gave you name of the child. So how can this child that was given to you by God with confirmation die premature? You don't panic. You don't panic. Do you understand what I'm saying? You cannot panic when this is your child falls sick and the doctors are mentioning surgery, this, that, this, that. You don't fear. You just enter into your closet and you say, God, remember your word. Because you know you had a word of confirmation from God. A word of confirmation from God. Pray. Seek God's confirmation. What do you have for me? 
in the year 2023 what do you have for me why am i here why are things the way they are i asked oh well i didn't ask her but i was so heartbroken that i was asking myself in my previous life what did i do that was so grievous that in this my present life i am being punished to this extent i wanted to discuss it with my wife but my heart was too heavy to discuss it with her sometimes you have to sit down and ask yourself questions why things are the way they are and when you find a confirmation that it is god it is not god you are directed you are what you are what directed. you are directed some of you as you are seated here now you say you are ready for marriage but guess what you don't even know who you are going to marry no confirmation no confirmation no confirmation so i love my wife very much and i don't want to, to use my wife as sacrifice right and i've deviated from my calling i'm giving you an example so don't mistake I've deviated from my calling and I love her too much I don't want to kill her and in this case I break her heart and I go in for another woman I know I don't love I can what kill in the name of side chick eh? you the almighty fire one the global prophet ha? I am done in this life I have made it go and tell my village people I have what made it the global prophet says he's in love with me or knowing to you the global prophet has deviated he wants to use you for sacrifice 2013 i went to minister in libala south and there was an old woman there was an old woman i called and i said you're about to use for sacrifice a politician has proposed to you that he wants to marry you it is not marriage he said yes he mentioned his name he was in satas government a minister in satan's government said he wants to marry me the woman was so overjoyed and i looked at her physically i said are you dreaming are you dreaming at your age eh? where is the energy you are going to have to have sex at your age here you are imagining yourself marrying a minister of state and the lord said she's about to be used for sacrifice she said, pray about everything. Get confirmation about everything. If I tell you that there are people in this life that know the day they will die, how they will die, whether they will die in the hospital, they will die at home, they will die by accident. There are people in this life that know how much more you when you are a believer in the presence of God every day and every night. Because of misplaced priorities, you don't ask for confirmation. Ask for what? Ask for what? Ask for confirmation ask for confirmation somebody will say pastor why is it that in this church it is only your wife that must introduce you into the altar there must be a reason i know something you don't know hallelujah and that is where that is why i am where i am and you are not where i am because i have a confirmation of something you do not have you do not have and the Bible said, when David received the confirmation, he went after the enemy. What are you going after this year? Yes. Whatever you have prepared yourself and you are preparing yourself in this seven days fasting and prayer to go after. My question is, have you received a word from God or you are just moving by violent faith? The Bible said, faith without works is dead. But the Bible also says that a zeal without knowledge is not good. So if you have a zeal, have information as well. All the young women who are not married, my assignment to you is that you should know who you are going to marry. Five years from now, two years from now, and it is just a snap of the finger, God will show you your husband. God will show you your wife. All the children you are going to have, you should know, you should be so certain about your future. God must have a conversation with you concerning the child. Yes, not because you are a prophet too, but because you are a child of God and you hear your father's voice. I know my sheep and my sheep hears my voice and they follow me. Praise the name of the Lord. F family, praise the name of the Lord. Amen. In the name of confirmation again, the Bible said the prodigal son did not know what the father knew. And when he came to the father to say, give me my inheritance, I cannot wait for you to die. The father did not stop him. 
the father allowed him to go and the bible said when he went he went and squandered the money on prostitutes i wonder why when men get money the first thing that comes into their mind is women except dr chishimba why are you giggling <laughs> when men get money majority of the time the first thing that comes into their mind is to add on to the women they already have the bible says that a woman not just a woman a harlot is the highway to the grave the what highway to the what grave it will kill you before your time who told you who told you that you can please a woman you can never please a woman 100 percent these people that we call women they are complicated if you are not rich they will complain you are broke you are not a man enough you can't even provide for your family if you go out there you start working you are not giving me attention anymore because you have made money i place a curse on you may you lose all your money how do you please such people yeah just manage anthony we should just manage them because we cannot please them if you make too much money you are not giving them attention but have you ever seen a lazy man that is constantly with the wife 24 hours blessed taking the wife and the children for holiday before i beg women shut your mouth oh. because when the holiday came did you not enjoy it yes now so allow the man to work and back him up with prayer because all the attention you are seeking if he stops going out stop chasing money stop working and he stays at home with you 24 7 it is you the same woman that will say you are a lazy man you can't even provide for your family what a complicated creation what a complicated creation they are so complicated dr chishimba we should just learn to manage our wives and our mothers because there's nothing we can do to please them hundred percent that is why from today if your wife sits back and begins to stare at you 30 seconds she's not saying any word pray because something is going on she's planning something hallelujah number two let's go to number two luke chapter 9 verse 35 and the Bible said, on that mountain of transfiguration, a voice came out from the cloud saying, this is my beloved son, hear him. Now, the reason why on that mountain of transfiguration, three people were on the mountain, right? And these three people transfigured from the physical world into the angelic world or the supernatural world. And who can give me names of these three people? You don't need to read the Bible to know this. Elijah, the global prophet. Moses, the prophet of hope. And lastly, you don't read your Bible. Every day you are chasing money. And the last one was Jesus. Hallelujah. The three greatest prophets that have ever walked the surface of this earth. These three. They are the three greatest what? Prophets. The Bible called Abraham a man of faith. Or a father of faith but Moses level was different he said I walked with Abraham but I did not reveal my secret name to him neither did I even reveal myself to him so the level of Moses cannot be compared to the level of Abraham because Moses God said I walk with Abraham but I did not even tell him my name but you I'm telling you my name my name is I am that I am. Abraham never knew me by my name. He only knew me as God. The creator. But you, you know me by my secret name. The I am that I am. When you go and they ask you, tell them, I am have sent you. That if you need healing, I am. If you need money, I am. If you need elevation, I am. I am that I am. I have no beginning, I have no end. And number two. Moses said, I want to see you face to face. And God said, because of the covenant I have and the respect I have for you, I cannot say no to you. But no man can see me and what? 
leave. So what I will do is that I will place you in between two rocks. And then I will place my hand to cover your face. And when I have passed, so the only time the Almighty came on this earth was when Moses invited him. The Almighty, I'm talking of the Almighty. When, was when Moses invited him. The first time Moses was called, he did not have an encounter with God directly. He had an encounter with an angel of the Lord in the burning bush, Exodus chapter 2. It wasn't God directly. It was an angel from the presence of God. Daniel had an encounter with the angel, not with God. He had an encounter with Gabriel and he also had an encounter with Michael. But Moses, ha, he did not only hear the voice of God, though, he saw God. And the Bible said when God had passed, he lifted his hand and Moses saw the back of the head of God. And even with that one, the Bible said when he returned from the mountain, he was radiating like the brightness of the sun. When the people wanted to speak with him, they cover him with chitenge. So the brightness does not blind them. How do you quantify such a man? He was the greatest prophet ever. Hallelujah. Family, I say hallelujah. Amen. And then came Elijah. The man who physically called fire from above. The man who physically took a sword. And took off the head of the prophets of Baal. 50 of them. In a day. All in the name of standing for God. The man who came and addressed a political figure. A president of a nation. And said go and tell your president that I Elijah. I am in town. He should come and face me 101. Wow. Say wow. wow. Major prophet. Amen. Mighty prophet of God. Now these two prophets were the most impactful prophets. Impactful prophet. From Genesis to Revelation before Yeshua. Hallelujah. And everything the Jewish people will say, they will either quote Abraham or quote Moses when it comes to prophets. If they don't quote Moses, now they will quote Elijah. Elijah. Even when Jesus was dying on the cross and he started crying, Eli, Eli, Samatani, they said he is calling on Elijah to come and save because that is how much they had respect for the prophet Elijah. That when he appears, he appears with judgment. Hallelujah. Family, I say hallelujah. I'm about to round up. I'm about to round up. And then Jesus stood in the middle of Elijah and Peter. Moses was on the right. Elijah was on the left. And Jesus stood in the middle. And they were translated from the physical world to spirits. And they were radiating. That is why they called them, they called that mountain the transfiguration mountain where they were transfigured. The transfiguration mountain. And the Bible said they came to tell Jesus about his death. His burial. They came to minister to him about what? His death. There are people who must know when they will die and how they will die. I believe that in our generation today, I am the only prophet I have seen. When I'm prophesying to you, God tells me the food you should eat. And the food you should not eat so you can live longer. I've never seen a prophet yet. They may be somewhere. But as it is now, I've never met one yet. You should know when you will die. The date of death should be given. There are people who are not even believers, who are not even Christians. But they have elevated themselves so much spiritually that they know how they will die. How they will die. Praise the Lord. And the Bible said, when Peter, James, and John... The divine, the one Jesus loved. When they woke up from that mountain and saw these three prophetic figures and Jesus was in the middle, a voice spoke and said, This is my beloved son. Now he specifically ensured that they saw Moses and they also saw Elijah. God made it like that. He wanted them to see these two major prophets, Moses and Elijah, with Jesus in their middle to differentiate, to differentiate Jesus from them. To say, when it comes to prophets in the kingdom of our God, 
you consider Moses as the greatest. Others also debate and they consider Elijah as the greatest. Elijah is the prophet of faith. Moses is the prophet of hope. But I tell you that Jesus is the prophet of love. And among all these three, he is my beloved son. Honor him. Honor him. Honor him. Listen to him. So number two, when the heavens open above you, God sets you apart. God separates you. He sets you apart. I pray that from today, the heavens will open above you and God will set you apart. God will differentiate you. The children you have given birth to, all of them will not become medical doctors. All of them might not become engineers or lawyers. All of them might not become prophets or pastors. But there is one particular one. My prayer is that this open heavens will fall upon him. And God will separate him. And God will set him apart. And what the others are not able to give you. In that one daughter. In that one son. God will use him to answer your prayer. God will use him to answer your prayer. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, from today, I prophesy with my eyes open that the anointing that separates one from generational curse, from maternal curse, from paternal curse, from ancestral curse, the power of God that differentiates one from those who are sickly, from those who are burdened, from those who are cursed, from infirmity, from sicknesses, that same power will be released upon you in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not end up like your father you will not end up like your mothers my bible says if god be for you who can be against you i came to announce to somebody that you have the backing of heaven you have the backing of god god is for you you will not end up like your fathers you will not end up like your elders you will not end up like your sisters receive the anointing that separates receive the anointing that sets apart receive the anointing that makes the difference in the mighty name of jesus the word of the lord came and the bible said the steps of a good man are ordered by the lord you are not good because you are good you are good because of the special grace of god you are good because of the mercies of god and i don't know why you came here today i don't know the mindset you brought to church today but i came with the mindset of heaven and the mindset of heaven says that you are above and not beneath you are the first and not the last you are the head and not the tail the anointing that separates and the anointing that differentiates somebody is a man of god in my mother's family there is no one that has gotten married well i came with prophecy a sure word from god when the heavens open over you you are differentiated and you are set apart and i prophesy you will be the first one to get married you will be the first one to stay married you will be the first one to break the protocol you will be the first one to break the limitation if you are here shut fire shut fire shut fire shut fire shut fire yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody says, I have received a prophecy that in my mother's family there is a curse. In my father's family there is a curse. Regardless of the prophecy, I can see with my own eyes. There is an evidence of a curse. Even as a servant of God, nothing is working. There is no progress. Well, I came all the way from Ghana and I came all the way from Salama Park with a revolutionary spirit, with anger in my spirit and i came to address that altar i came to address that limitation that starting with you and your children from today every generational curse is broken 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 every generational curse is broken
and the devil is a liar and so is his mother-in-law i am graced differently because the heavens are open above me i am anointed differently because the heavens are open above me i am favored differently because the heavens are open above me you will not die like a chicken you will not die like a christmas chicken you shall prosper and you shall live long you shall prosper and you shall live long give somebody a high five and prophesy i am a limit breaker 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 you are not ordinary you are not ordinary you are set apart you are differentiated among your mother's children among your schoolmates among your colleagues if god be for you who can be against you he that is born from above is above all he that comes from above is above all except it is given to a man the bible says he cannot receive god has given you open heavens 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 come on somebody run and make a sound 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 i am a limit breaker 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 in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus there are some you went to school with during your school days you have to always copy from them and when the examination results come they are always ahead of you but little did they know little did they know that the race is not to the swift that the battle is not to the strong that bread is not given to men of understanding but time and chance but time and chance but time and chance but time and chance happens to them all it is your time 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 come on somebody jump and start fire 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 holy ghost holy ghost holy ghost sit on the head of your enemies and the bible said el kana will come 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 will come and caress the wife and show affection show love and the bible said elkanah will tell rebecca am i not wet more than 10 children to you but the problem was not elkanah rebecca's problem hannah 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 hannah's problem was the river was the river the bible said the river will mock her you barren woman you witch you wicked woman you see how god is punishing you you are barren you cannot produce i just came into this marriage recently and i've given the man of god a baby i've given the man of god a child the bible said the race is not to the swift when the season and the time came and god remembered hannah did you ever hear the rival's name mentioned again her name disappeared because she became irrelevant may god set you apart may jehovah set you apart may god set you apart he will set you apart and he separated hannah and gave him a special baby he was not an ordinary baby the bible said he grew up in the presence of god and as a young boy he heard the voice of god and when the voice of god came the voice of god told him what his spiritual father has done 
and how God was going to punish them and how God was going to raise him to replace his spiritual father and the prophet Eli called him and said God punish you if you hide anything from me tell me what the, the voice of God told you and he told him what the voice of God told him but at that tender age he had the wisdom of God and he kept from him that particular side that said God said he will kill you and kill your sons Hophni and Phineas he was a different man of God he was a separated man of God I don't know how you see me I don't know what you have heard about me but between me and my God I know I am set apart I know I am different I know I am anointed different I know I am favored different I know I am grace different and with my hands lifted I prophesy I prophesy I prophesy you will not look like where you are coming from your children will not look like where you are coming from your bank account will not look like where you are coming from the Bible says I hold the key of David in my hand and I've set before you an open door and no one can shut it no one can close it when I open your door no one can close it no one can shut it I have set before you an open door and in Acts chapter 16 the Bible said Paul said a great and effective door has opened for me i don't know who i am talking to i don't know who i came here for but there is somebody the heavens have opened above you the heavens have opened above you and you are being elevated you are being lifted you are being respected you are being recognized if you are the one shot fire if you are the one shot fire if you are the one shot fire the bible says in the book of psalms chapter one it said whatsoever your hands shall touch shall prosper hear this word where others have gone and they have failed where others have tried and they have failed when the heavens are open above you your hands are favored your hands are blessed your hands are anointed and i prophesy on this highly exalted altar after today after today shout a good amen after today after today whatsoever your hands shall touch it shall increase it shall prosper it shall bear fruit receive it by fire receive it by fire receive it by fire there is someone listening to me the altars in your father's house the altars in your mother's house little did they know that you have been set apart little did they know that you are a member in fire nation and they have shut your door your door of prosperity your door of salvation your door of divine health your door of good marriage your door of business little did they know jesus said i make a way where there seems to be no way i call him the way maker from today because the heavens are open above you receive a new door receive a new way receive another chance receive another door receive another opportunity you shall prosper i said you shall prosper i said you shall prosper you shall not die you shall not die that sickness will not kill you that sickness will not embarrass you receive divine favor receive divine grace receive prosperity receive peace of mind receive elevation in the name of jesus in the name of jesus come on open your mouth and speak in tongues speak in tongues speak in tongues Ah! 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 
Holy Ghost. Say I am separated. I am separated. I am set apart. I am set apart. Grace differently. Favored differently. Anointed differently. Blessed differently. That is who I am. I am prophetic. I am apostolic. I am fire nation. I am fire nation. Give him a shout of victory. A shout of victory. A shout of victory. My God and my Father. Take your seat. Take your seat. Number three. When the heavens are open above you, you have access. You are given what? Access. When I talk of access, I am talking of places you don't qualify to go. Places you don't qualify for your name to be mentioned. You don't qualify for your name to be mentioned there. Some people contact me and they said, someone sent you my video, your video. Someone sent me a link of a prophecy you have given all the way from Guyana, all the way from Barbados, all the way from places I have never gone there before. I have never gone there before, but my names are being mentioned there. You are giving access to the nations. He said, ask of me. Ask of me. Psalm 8 verse 2, if I'm correct. Ask of me, and I will give you the nations as your inheritance. I will give you the nations as your inheritance. He said, kings shall come to the rising of your light. Kings shall rise, and they will look for you, because your light and your star will shine. Say, I am the one he's talking about. Ah, say it with confidence. I am the one. 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 Somebody contacted me. He said, I was sleeping and I had a dream. And I was told to look for your channel. The name of your channel was given to me. And I was told when I found you that I should go and empty all my dollar account and give you the money and send you the money. And I said, who is this man? And I took my time to go way back, four years, five years behind. The prophecies you have given, the sermons you have preached. And I realized that you are different from all other men of God. You are different from all other prophets of God. Way back, way back, way back. I was told to empty my account. Ha! Huh. You will be given access. I said you will be given what? access in this our land of zambia dr chishimba i don't go on tv i don't go on radio when was the last time you heard me on radio or on tv i don't go on tv i don't go on radio there is not a single day we don't even have a signpost to our church god said no don't get yourself involved the other day during the fasting i was about to tell our viewers to say go and subscribe to the channel the holy spirit said this is your last time don't do it again he warned me. He said, you are not for adverts. You are not called for adverts like other people. Other men of God. You are not that kind of man of God. You are different. I have given you access to the nations of the world. To the nations of the world. Ah, I don't know who I came here for. The heavens will open above you. Ah! The heavens will open above you. The heavens will open above you. The Bible said they sat down and they mocked them. They said, Sing the song you used to sing when you were in Fire Nation. Anima ni mama, iya, anima ni mama, iya, anima ni mama, iya, 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 anima ni mama, anima ni mama, anima ni mama, iya, 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 iya. They said you used to rejoice when you were in Zion. Zion is the house of God. 
now that the doctors have diagnosed you also sing the song you used to sing and I heard the people of God saying how can we sing the song of the Lord when we have been captured as slaves and we are in a strange land but there was a day God remembered them and the Bible said by the rivers of Babylon there were slaves in Babylon they were slaves in, they were prisoners in Babylon but they sang a new song by the rivers of Babylon there we sat when we remembered what the Lord has done you will sing a new song 2023 i didn't hear your amen your amen can be louder we will sing a new song south and south i swallow oh yes you will sing a new song there will come a day if jesus should tarry i will buy my own private jet i didn't hear your amen if i buy a car it is ordinary my father bought a car before he died there are people in my family who owns multiple cars there will come a day i will also even in babylon even in babylon huh. there is a man here in zambia who traveled to my country recently he stays in his office is in kablunga he said i have a big plot in a prime place in accra I can't imagine your church allowed you to move from Avondale and you came to Stalilo. That church was so powerful that even when the ministers and president are traveling from Ghana to Zambia, I get the urge to bring them as honor to your church. And he got so upset. He said, I have given you that plot. I'm buying ticket to go to Ghana. And I said, I will follow you. He said, I want to go and show you that plot so you can build a, house, a church on for your god for if the people of zambia does not recognize what you carry i know what you carry i know what you carry and then god said the time has not yet come right the time has not yet come but i'm telling you there is going to come a time the church i will build for god you can't even compare it to a mall in his park it will be magnificent i said it will be magnificent why because the heavens will open and my god will give us access mm. he will give us access praise the name of the lord the bible says in ezekiel chapter 1 verse 1 he said ezekiel said i was among the prisoners who were captured on our way to babylon there was a river called cheba there was a river called what cheba he said all of a sudden when we got there's something about rivers that the devil likes that god also likes ezekiel 1 verse 1 he said the heavens open and i was granted access into where the supernatural somebody will be giving access to the bank of zambia amen. shout a louder amen until you get so blessed that the, the people who investigate crime, money laundering, and what, what are they called? Eh? EEC. Until they look for you to investigate you. Mama, you have not yet arrived. They have to look for you to investigate you. Amen. 2022. Western Union blocked me two times. Till today, they have still blocked me. And here I am in the church. They don't even recognize the grace I carry. They are people anyway there are people who have their own churches and they have their own prophets beginning of the year they said you 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 are the altar we want to connect to the altar you stand on to pray we want to sow a seed for the year 2023 and 31st december i was calling my sons and my daughters 1000 sow a seed for the year how many people came how many people they don't they don't value what you carry the moment big john came i said this year 2023 your father is set to die we have to pray mm -hmm. and every day when i'm at home the word drops in my spirit to say pray and stop it because you are not called to pray and prophesy for it to happen when you have access to pray for them mama what's your name again dunia mrs mututua i didn't say it in the mic when i collected her seed the moment I touch her, the spirit of God said, hey, it is not her father, it is her mom, biological mother, 2023. 
If she's not prayed for, she will die. I whispered it in her ears. Guess what? After the service, she communicated and she said, you sent a text message, right? Or you called? A message. She said, my mother has been sick this December. It is in and out of the hospital. In and out of the hospital. Even as I'm talking now, she's still not well. And now in the altar, you prophesied that you saw my mom die in 2023. Man of God, stand with me in prayer. But where is the seed, my daughter? It is coming, right? Hey! Say access. I don't know who I am talking to. But listen, there are people in this land of our Zambia who carry the key to your breakthrough. The problem is that you don't have access to them. The day you meet them, your life must change. Your life must change. You need what? Access. He was an ordinary youth. Carried away as a slave. But by the river of Cheba. Okay, let's read it together. Ezekiel 1 verse 1. Ready? Go. If the heavens doesn't open, you cannot see. But the moment the heavens open, you what? See. Visions of God. Visions of God. Hallelujah. Say access to the nations. Access to good marriage. Say louder. Access to divine healing for my parents. For my mother, for my father, for my children, for these church members, divine access. Mm. There is something. There is something Jesus knew that people don't know. The day you will come to know what Jesus knew, you also walk on water. Yes, you also walk on water. The day you will know what Jesus knew, you also turn water into wine. The water. water. Some people say, man of God, what is your secret? You will wait forever. You will what? You will wait forever because the secret I cannot explain. How I see the vision, I cannot explain. Amen. Oh, Amen. I told my wife the other day, you don't want to be a wife of a prophet. You don't want to. You don't want to be a wife of a prophet. You don't know what it takes for me to carry a message from the spiritual realms and come and stand on this altar, I speak of it, then it manifests. Sometimes when the Spirit of God comes and I'm lying on my bed, it is as though I have been arrested. He presses me on my pillow. And I cannot wake up. You see how your neck is bent? Sorry, eh? Sorry. <laughs> I cannot wake up. I can tell that I am very, very far. Very far. Deep, 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 deep. I have gone beyond the realms of men, the realms of demon, and I am very far. And I can tell that something is pressing me on that bed. And there is no way when I wake up, I forget what I have been told or what I have seen. And that is why it is always accurate. Always accurate. The Lord said, tell the Ghana government to prepare their fire departments. Because whether they like it or not, they said prophets should not prophesy to create fear and panic in the nation. If you prophesy, they will arrest you. But the inspector general of police, he issued a statement. God said, tell them, prepare your fire department because 2023, fire will break out than ever before. January alone. And guess what? And I said, the government buildings, the marketplaces, on the... I've forgotten the day, so let me not lie. The marketplace caught fire. The next day, which was on the 16th, the first government building to caught fire was the same police barrack building. And the police officer got locked in his room with this security door they couldn't open. And he got bent, his wife got bent, and a three-month-old baby got bent beyond recognition. And I said it emphatically, boldly, and accurately to say it will happen. Government Buildings and the police said, Prophets don't prophesy. When the police IGP was asked why, he said, Who 
voted for the prophet to prophesy about me. Parliamentarians are voted into political office. But for the prophet, who voted? And I said, this is sheer ignorance. How can a prophet be voted by men? Then he will say what the men voted for him wants to hear. A prophet is not voted. He is called and sent by God. And I said, there will be a lot of exposés worldwide in the political arena. And one of the countries that will take a very heavy hit concerning expose is Babylon, America. The same January. We cross over from December into January. It has started. The sitting president himself has been caught with sophisticated documents that are not supposed to be in his possession. It is in his house. He has been caught. Embarrassment. And he's not the only one. All over the place. All over the place. I said also that there is an aeroplane I saw in the realm of the spirit that is carrying some special documents that will go off the radar, disappear. Do you remember, Mama Evelyn, you were here? When I gave that pro it will disappear. It will go off the radar. They will not see it. But after a while, it will come back. It will appear again. And there is an aeroplane my media team have drawn my attention to that disappeared. Went off the radar. They only found the aeroplane when the aeroplane appeared again and crashed. And so many people have died. Say access. access. Oh, say it louder. Access. access. You must have access. Some of you, it is not the spiritual access. Some of you, it is financial access. Academia access. Marital access. Access of the fruit of the womb. Access of divine healing. You get what I'm saying? God must give you access to realms and places that under normal circumstances, you don't qualify for your name to be mentioned there. You, are, you gain access. Hallelujah. In this, our, our hot land, how can somebody travel all the way from America, buy ticket thousands of dollars, pay for hotel for how many days, and come and see a man here in our Zambia? Hey, access all. Say access all. Hmm. Ask God for access. Tell God to give you access into the supernatural realm as a prophet. I told this mama on Sunday when I was praying for her, the one who came from America. I said, this one is not for public consumption. But I'll have time for you, just the two of us, I'll minister to you. The next day when we met in church, I told her. I told her what I, I didn't want to say publicly. And when we sat in the car, she said, I knew it in my spirit. That you were going to pick it up. Because I knew that part of my life was a bit embarrassing. And it happened when I was not born again. I said, you don't need to explain. You don't need to explain. Say, access. Why would somebody waste their time to come and invest in your business? There must be a level of access for them to believe in your goal, your vision. Why would somebody bypass every other woman and say, you, regardless of your weight, regardless of your bony skin, you are the bone of my bone, the flesh of my flesh, because you have access to their heart. Shout, I hear you. From today, I decree and I declare, ever since you were born things you have never had access to but your soul needs it to elevate i grant you access 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 i push you into the door of 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 access shut fire Shall fire, shall fire, shall fire, shall fire, shall fire. You are giving access into the realms of the spirit. And God says, every demon that will stand before you will fall before you. Amen. Ah, there are some of you, you have been programmed to be operated in the year 2023. I give you access to angelic visitation, angelic ministrations angelic touch angelic touch the angel in charge of healing angel in charge of healing his name is called Raphael Raphael very beautiful angel very beautiful 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 angel when he appears there must be healing 
when he appears there must be healing and you need access to this angel you know why you need access to him god will do nothing unless he has given it to who his servants servants an angel of the lord is a servant to god and i pray that angel raphael whoever that needs healing may god grant you access to that angel may god grant you access to that angel that stubborn sickness that has been refusing medication i prophesy with my hands lifted receive access to divine healing receive access to divine healing receive access to divine healing in the name of jesus and i was granted access and i saw the visions of god at the heavens open whoever is listening to the sound of my voice as a pastor as a man of god as an evangelist as an apostle as a prophet of god you need access to the supernatural and i prophesy receive access receive divine 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 access hallelujah we are not an ordinary church and so are you not an ordinary child of god so are you not an ordinary christian you carry different kind of access where doors do not open for others you get the doors who open for you some of you you are listening to me you are ordinary maid house help drivers garden boys some of you are in this church some of you are also watching online guess what after today god will grant you access not access as the best cook or as the best chef or as the best housewife maid garden boy security man or whatever but god will give you access as the head access as the head i say access as the head access as the head he said you shall be the head and not the tail you shall borrow from none but you shall borrow to many you shall be the first and not the last and i hear peter saying the stone the builders have rejected today has become the cornerstone i was the stone that was rejected but i have not been granted access and therefore i have become the cornerstone receive that grace by fire 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 the god that answers by fire the god that answers by fire the God that answers by fire, oh, what will be my God? The God that answers by fire, what will be my God? The God that answers by fire, what will be my God? The God that answers by fire, what will be my God? The God that answers by fire, oh, what will be my God? The God that answers by fire, what will be my God? I have a very big God who is always by my side. A very big God who I have a very big God who is always by my side. A very big God who Listen, me I know go suffer. I no go bed for bread. Elijah, me I know go suffer. God of miracles, you are my papa. God of miracles, God of miracles, you are my papa. God of miracles, God of miracles, oh God of miracles.
my name, my name, favor is my name. I don't worry about tomorrow. Favor is my name. I don't worry about tomorrow. Favor is my name. I don't worry about tomorrow. Favor is my name. I don't worry about tomorrow. Favor is my name. I don't worry about tomorrow. Favor is my name. in front of the altar. God will bless you above all. Come and receive prayer. Come and receive prayer. Those who stood in your chair, you are excluded from this prayer. Don't even say amen. Yes. Lift up your hands. I prophesy that this year 2023, no one will come and dance at your funeral. No one will come and dance on your grave. No one will rejoice because of your downfall. But you shall rejoice at the downfall of your enemies. You shall celebrate at the downfall of your enemies. From the north to the east. From the south to the west. From above and beneath. Men shall celebrate you. 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 Those who are for you are more than those who are against you. May heaven open above you. May heaven open above you. May you enjoy open heavens from today. Enjoy open heavens from today. Enjoy open heavens from today. My God and my Father. Receive grace, receive grace, receive grace, receive grace. Touch, 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 touch. 
Touch. Take it, take it, take it. Fire, take it, fire. Fire. Receive grace, receive grace. Receive grace, receive grace. Receive grace. Receive grace, receive grace. Receive grace, receive grace. Receive grace. Receive grace. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lift up your two hands. Life. 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 Come. Stand here. Lift up your two hands. Life. Life. Take it. 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 That open heavens you have been yearning for. A double proportion. 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 Makatusa katuka tukaya. Lekata makatabaya. Break by fire. Break by fire. Break by fire. Break. Bring her up again. Lift Mama Pizzi up again. Receive it. Open heavens. Open heavens. You shall not be defeated by your enemies. Break by fire. Break fire. Break by fire. You shall not be defeated. You shall not be defeated. Yes. Open heavens. Open heavens. Yes. Open heavens. Yes. Open heavens. Take it. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Break. Break fire. Break fire. Break fire. Break fire. Break fire. Limitations. Break fire. Open yes. heavens. Open heavens. Hey, the wig is falling. Yes. Apostle Dr. Elijah Coffee King is worth hearing. <laughs>